Good afternoon and welcome to Tuesday's edition of the Warrior Daily. I'm Cameron Widenhaller, joined by volleyball head coach Phil Nickel. Two and one this past week, win at Finley, five set win at Finley, mm -hmm. which was uh, which was a nice. Uh, it's not easy to go in there and get a get a win. Dropped Friday's Friday night's match against Northern Michigan and took Saturday's homecoming match against Michigan Tech. Uh, what were your impressions from um, this past week? Well, in general, I would say we had three good efforts, um, even though we came out on the short end on Friday. You know, going down to Finley, the last two, three times we've been down there, we've come out on the wrong end of the, the score. So we're really happy to go down there and, and do uh, what we needed to win. You know, it was a good match. It seems like against Finley, it's always a good match. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it, I give the, the team a lot of credit. We were down, actually. Uh, two games to one. We made a couple of little adjustments, and um, it worked. You know, they did a nice job of picking that up and uh, put a couple of different people in to, to do some things, and they did a nice job, and we were able to pull that one out. Uh, and, and I thought played really well for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, came home for that match against Northern Michigan. We knew Northern was going to be good. We didn't play that poorly. It just, um, you know, it was frustrating in that we were up 18 to 12 in game four, which would have forced it to a fifth game. And, you know, we've done pretty well in fifth games yep. this year. So um, to not be able to hold on to that or finish that off was really uh, discouraging. And it was kind of a weird match. You talk about the two matches on the weekend um, against Northern Michigan. You know, both teams hit under 100. Mm -hmm. um, blocked, I would say both teams blocked pretty well. We blocked really well in that match. Um, so it was more of an offensive struggle for both sides. And then on Saturday, we came back against uh, Michigan Tech and, you know, had the, kind of the opposite, a really balanced offensive yeah. output, uh, hit like 250 for the match, which for us is pretty good. Um, you know, had a nice, like I said, bow, all three of our pin hitters, uh, two of them hit 380 and the other one hit 280. So, um, you know, we would take that any time. Yeah. And, and so hopefully it's, uh, we can continue moving forward. Like I said, all three matches, I thought we played hard, played fairly well. Uh, just had to clean up some things to continue moving forward and, and get a few more victories. And then touching off what what you ended there, it seems like maybe that offense, and obviously, I mean, the match dictates what what's going to happen. Sure, but sure. It seems like maybe you found an identity with with having a third attacker step up with Heather Weiss. Yeah, hopefully, you know, Heather's been coming on, and you know, in preseason actually did really well, and then when we started playing. Um, the, the results weren't quite as successful as what they had been in practice and, and things. So we knew it was there. It was coming. You know, Heather's still pretty young. Mm -hmm. She is a sophomore, but she didn't get a ton of playing time last year. Um, you know, didn't come from the same type of club program and stuff coming in that some of the others have. So she was a little bit inexperienced. And you see every time we step out there, though, that her confidence grows. Her, you know, just as she learns the game a little more. Um, she just continues to get better and better. And, and like you said, she really had a really good week in general, yeah. uh, not just the match on, on Saturday, but I w would say all week she played really well. But she really kind of sparked us there on Saturday and really got things going uh, after we had dropped that first game. And she got hot and uh, just kind of took things in the right direction mm -hmm. from there on, I would say. Staying at home this weekend, which has got to be nice. You got Hillsdale on Friday and Northwood on Saturday. What do, what do those teams bring as far as challenges? Well, they're both you know going to be good. Hillsdale um, runs a pretty quick offense, so they're always a uh, a challenge to defend a little bit. And they're always good, you know. Even mm -hmm. their their record isn't phenomenal this year necessarily, but they're always a good team. Very well coached. Um, Northwood, the same thing. They're you know coming off of their GLIAC championship last year, I think, you know, their expectations were probably pretty high because they had the, the reigning player of the year back and um, and healthy. I think she found out she had gone through the year last year with a torn ACL, which is crazy. But, yeah. um, you know, they're both going to be good. They're both really good. they got good players. They're, they're well coached. And it's going to be a, a challenge against both of them. They're different styles, you know. Hillsdale's quicker, does some different things. Northwood is a little slower offense but you know and you kind of know where it's going but mm -hmm. the, the challenge is stopping it anyway so uh, different st styles but you know they're both going to come in here with uh, presenting their challenges I guess and we're going to have to play well like and and to come away with a couple victories for sure so 
We're about halfway through the GLIAC schedule. Is this kind of where you thought it'd be if you could handicap it for us a little bit as, as we head down the stretch here? Um, you know, it's, it's not far off, I guess, from yeah. what people would expect. You know, the, the usual suspects are kind of near the top. Um, I, a little bit surprised, I guess. Ferris, you know, Ferris, again, is a, an established program that always does well. But uh, for them to be sitting undefeated at this point, I think, to me, is a little bit of a surprise because they lost quite a bit from yeah. last year. But obviously they've done a great job, had some people step in, and, again, a, another very well-coached team. So, um, you know, I, I would be a little bit surprised if anybody goes through the whole year undefeated this year. Uh, I think it's pretty balanced at the top. And then, you know, there's been some... Uh, some interesting matches on the teams that uh, we've talked about are still kind of finding their way either mm-hmm. in Division Two or in the GLIAC that have really challenged some people. So I think uh, the second half of the season will be very interesting. And um, while I expect those, like we said, usual suspects to be yeah. at the top when it all ends, um, I think there could be a few upsets along the way as well. So Cool. Looking forward to it. Thanks for the time, Coach. Thank you. Hope to see everybody inside the Mathai Center Friday and Saturday for home volleyball.